Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just wanted to do a little update for the uh, Microsoft Defender preview because I think it, um, you know, Microsoft, first of all, should have chosen maybe some other name, but um, this confuses a lot of people and my video confused a few people thinking that uh, their antivirus, that is the Windows security app, and Windows 10 and Windows 11 was going to become a paid antivirus, which is not at all the case. So here's what's going to happen. So I talked about a new uh, thing that Microsoft is offering called the Microsoft Defender. It is right now in preview mode. If you're in the US, you can try it for free. And this is a, let's say, a more advanced way of actually checking your devices and making sure that all of the devices are <coughs> protected. It can uh, protect up to five different devices, something like that. Um, and um, anyways, this is a kind of a solution for, you know, if you have multiple devices and, and maybe you have a family computer with multiple users and so on. Uh, this is more advanced and will actually have a more advanced panel talking about security, giving you security tips protecting you and telling you they are protected on all the devices that you use every day. So this is right now in preview mode, but this is different than what Windows has right now, which is the Windows security app that does have Windows Defender in it, but they are two separate things. So to put things clearer, the basic Windows security that you have with Windows 10 and Windows 11, that is free and will stay free and you are protected and that does not require any account to of, of anything to work. It just works. So the that what's what's happening here is a lot of people confuse the other one with this one and think that Microsoft is going to start asking for money to have the basic security in Windows. No. Not at all. This stays free. And this stays a good antivirus that's going to work for free. It is per machine. So each Windows user, uh, each Windows computer has its Windows security app on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And it just works. And that's going to be okay. And it's going to stay free. Don't worry. It's that new one that is a more advanced uh, security panel, security app that actually uh, incorporates more devices, including your Android phone and tablet, that is going to require a Microsoft 365 subscription if you want to have it. Now, I also have a lot of you that ask, said, well, I got a Microsoft 365 subscription because I'm a student. That Does that mean that I can have this? As long as there's a Microsoft 365 subscription active, this is going to be available to you and it's going to work and you won't be charged more or anything. It's just that they require Microsoft, Microsoft 365 um, subscription for this to work. That's all. For the rest, um, this is a different thing. This is another security protection and, and uh, security control panel, if you want, for more than just a computer, for your technology that you use at the same time. And it supports multiple devices. So this is going to require Microsoft 365 subscription, uh, but not the Windows security app that you have in Windows 10 and 11. That stays free. It's They are really two separate things. Microsoft should have given that other um, antivirus and anti-malware a different name to kind of differentiate them from what is in Windows. But Microsoft never makes things simple, so it's always a little complex. So what you have in Windows is going to stay free. It's there. It's going to work, and there's no problem with that. It's going to continue being free. What is not free is just that new offering for multiple devices at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.